Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2022 Mathematics. Today we will discuss about all those questions related to the linear programming problem. That was question 48, 55, 57, 63 and 64 which are asked in the GATE 2020 Mathematics exam. Myself Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics Thapar Institute. You can simply follow this link for finding the various videos related to the previous year uh, net as well as the gate examination. You can see the LPP solutions of the gate 2021, uh, partial differential linear algebra all are available in my playlist CSR net as well as the gate channel name is Dr. Harish. So let's see uh, we can start with this question but first firstly here or oh, before starting with that whenever there is a problem related to the dual always remember the weak duality theorem what is the weak duality theorem suggests that whenever you have the one problem called as the minimization another problem is a maximization then whatever the answer of the minimization is always be greater than or equal to the maximization sometimes the student may think that the primal problem will always be greater than of the due that is not the correct way the only correct way is that whosoever the minimization problem is always be greater than of the uh, maximization problem so let's say this one thing. So what is given to you, if y is a feasible solution of the dual problem, then you have to check which one of the following satisfied. So clearly say that this is my primal problem. So the dual of this problem will give you a minimization problem. So it means whatever the dual objective function is say 10y1 plus 8y2 that is always be greater than of the maximization problem that is my 5x1 plus 12x2. That's a clear meaning. Now, it, it is given that uh, alpha and minus 1 are the solutions of this. So, it means 10 alpha minus 8 and x1 and x2 both are greater than 0. So, it means this number is also be a greater than 0. So, it means alpha must be greater than of 8 by 10. That is a point 8. You can see this option will cancel out. Because you can see alpha is a less than of the 3. It can be of the minus of 3 also. Be. Or it can be the 0. Alpha can be 0. So, this option cancel out. Another way is how you can write the dual of this problem. So that is uh, my y1 plus 2y2 like this is my corresponding y1, this is my y2. So coefficient of the x1, this is my coefficient of the x2 and this is my coefficient of x3. So you can write this as coefficient of x1 that is a 5, coefficient is my 12 and coefficient of z3 is my 0. Since my problem is the minimization, so all the constants are my greater than it is given that alpha and minus 1 are the feasible solution of this problem you can substitute in this equation you will get is greater than 5 that means alpha is greater than 7 similarly for the second one plus 1 is greater than 12 so it means alpha is greater than 11 by 2 and the third one is alpha minus 3 is greater than 0 so alpha is greater than equal to 3 so apart from these three which one is the common solution of that you can see alpha is 7 satisfy all these conditions so the right answer is only d is the correct so look about the another one is there so again this is given to the primal and dual so you can see in this case primal is my minimization so the dual will be my maximization fine so the minimization answer this is my minimization it should be greater than or equal to maximization of this that is my b transpose of y and it is given that x0 and y0 are the feasible solution it means this condition must hold by using the weak duality theorem so it means the first condition satisfied so remember here this is the minimization is always be greater than of the maximization so minimization is my primal so minimization is always greater than of the maximization this equality holds only when x0 or y0 are my optimal but it is not given to you so it is a cancel out. Here you can see x0 is my optimal so this here remember the equality holds only when x0 or y0 is my optimal solution. So it clearly see that x0 is my optimal so the equality holds in this case so this option is correct again y0 is my optimal so equality hold in this so the correct answers are my a c and d are my correct answers of this problem that's a very simple about the weak duality theorem okay look about this uh, this is the cause of the assignment problem so uh, you may apply the hungarian method but i will tell you the shortcut fix for this look about this in the first row which is the minimum value this is my minimum value 
which is the second minimum value in the second row this is my here is the minimum value and in the third row which is the minimum value is 9 but it is already assigned to this the next smallest value is my 10 so which is not be there so it means the answer will be 8 plus 9 and the third one we have to decide so how you can decide you can either you can think about this first minimum value it's 9 but it is already assigned look about the second minimum value is now here now you can do the same way for the column wise b if what is the minimum value is this 10 so that's a common about that so the right answer is my 9 17 plus 10 is my 27 is the right answer so there is no need to apply the hungarian method for solving the assignment problems so i will tell you again let me clear you again one more time because it's a very shortcut tricks for you look about the first row look about the first row and which is the smallest element so this is the 8 is my smallest element look about the second row which is the smallest element is 9 is the smallest element look about the third row this is 9 but it is already assigned or the another ways what you can do is you can look about the smallest element among all these 9 entries this is my smallest entries look about the second smallest entry so this is a 9 but it is already covered look about the next one is here then look about the next smallest entry is a 10 but it is already assigned it is a 10 it is already assigned now it is said here so the right answer is my 27 is here so i again said to you there is no need to apply the hungarian okay so which of the following uh, the optimum now there is no need of finding the duality because there is no given to be a dual solution so that's a very simple task whether you have to write the constraints so this is my 4 this is my 6 this is the line corresponding to 3x1 plus 2x is 12 and this is my 1 and this is my minus 1 is there so minus x1 are here so which one is our feasible area is this is my feasible area now you can find the coordinates this is my 0 comma 0 this is my 4 comma 0 this is my 0 comma 1 and this point we can find with the help of this equation so we can find the point of intersection plus 2x2 is 12 so i can multiply this by 3 and add them so it will be my 5 x2 and 15 so x2 is my 3 therefore what is the x1 if you substitute here is then it's my 2 so it's my 2 comma 3 now either you can find the value of the uh, z at all these points otherwise you can see z will be maximum when x1 will be maximum so it clearly says that this point will not be the maximum here x1 is not the maximum this point is not the maximum you can check about this so what is the value of the z at here this is 824 plus this and what is the value of this is 18 plus 15 that is my 33 so you can see we need a maximum value so the answer is my 33 is the correct answer of this problem sorry uh, 8 to 12 6 is a 12 plus 15 that's a 27 so that 27 is the right answer of this problem okay look about the next one this is the transportation problem is given to you so this is a transportation problem and you have to find the starting bfs you have to find the starting bfs by using the northwest that's a very simple again what you can do you can start from here this is a 10 now it's a 5 it's a 5 now it's a 5 it's a 20 it's a 10 it's a 10 and it's a 10 so there's the balance are there you can see that it's a balance problem so what is the cost of this so 10 multiplied by 1 5 into 15 2 into 5 10 into 4 10 into 1 and 2 into 10 so what is that this is my 25 this is 50 and this is my 30 so it is my 75 plus 30 so the right answer is my 105 is the correct answer okay look about this next one is there so find the maximum value of this over this so there are the two methods are there the first method is very simple second method is also simple first method you can apply the Lagrange multiplier method other method is you can find the value of the x from this equation and then you can substitute in this given one out there this whole square minus of y square and then find the partial then find the derivative 0 find the value of this and then find the second derivative check whether it's a less than 0 or greater than 0 otherwise we can define the value of the l 
how you can define this is my f minus lambda times of the first constraint here then we can partial derivative with respect to x so it will give you a minus of 2x minus of lambda is 0 and partial derivative with respect to y 0 it give you a minus of 2y minus of 3 lambda 0 from here I can find the value of lambda as a minus I can find the value of y from here this I can substitute this value of x and y in the given equations so this is minus minus 9 by 2 is my 10 so what is the value of this this is minus 5 lambda is 10 so what is the value of the lambda is minus of 2 so therefore what is the value of the x if you substitute minus of 2 here x is my 1 y is my 3 so I can substitute this value in this equation you will get the right answer as here so that is my 39 is the correct answer of this problem that's a very simple task otherwise you can do like this way so again this is nothing but my 10 minus 3y of 3 minus of 2y 0 after finding you will get the value of the y as 3 and then take the second derivative it will be in less than 0 so once y is 3 you can substitute here x is 1 again you will get the same way okay look about the last question are there so a function is given to you in the terms of the f of x y now if you and it is given that it is a local minimum at this point it is given that so if you look about this function I can write this function here clearly says that what is that what is that it is a symmetric function what is the meaning of the symmetric function is you can see f of x y is nothing but f of y x now once it is a symmetric then you should remember that the whatever the local or the global minimum or maximum is always occurring at the point as x is equal to y always remember that whenever the function is symmetric then the maximum or the minimum will occurring at the same point but here it is given that they are occurring at the point a b so it means the first condition is a is equal to b then how you can find the value of the a comma b so you can take the partial derivative of either with respect to x or with respect to y so it can be 2x plus y minus 1 by x square so since it is a symmetric function so x is y so I can return as my 2x plus x minus of 1 by x square and at the point of the minimum is occurring at the a so I can substitute this value as a, a you will get this a cube as 1 by 3 so once a cube is 1 by 3 since a is b so b cube is also 1 by 3 so therefore a cube plus b cube is my 2 by 3 is the right answer of this problem so this is the way you can solve all these LPP question in a very simple manner. I hope you can simply learn the various concepts and the shortcut tricks in these lectures. We will see in next class on how you can solve the numerical analysis question which was asked in the gate 2022 examinations. Till then you can simply follow this link, playlist, channel name where you can find the various previous year videos. Like, share and comment this video with your friends. Thank you very much. Happy learning.